Chapter Ten of Mary, a Fiction, by Mary Wollstonecraft. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Ipa Gonzalez. Chapter Ten. Every day, almost at this hour, the new acquaintance and civility produce intimacy. Mary sometimes left her friend with him, while she indulged herself in viewing new modes of life and searching out the causes which produced them. She had a metaphysical turn which inclined her to reflect in every object that passed by her, and her mind was not like a mirror, which receives every floating image, but does not retain them. She had not any prejudices, for every opinion was examined before it was adopted. The Roman Catholic ceremonies attracted her attention, and gave rise to the conversations when they all met. One of the gentlemen continually introduced deistical notions. When he ridiculed the pageantry, they all were surprised at the serving, Mary thought of both the subjects, the Romish tenets, and the deistical adepts, and though not a sceptic, thought it right to examine the evidence in which her faith was built. She read Butler's Analogy, and some other authors, and these researches made her Christian from conviction, and she learned charity, particularly with respect to sectaries, saw that apparently good and solid arguments might take their rise from different points of view and she rejoiced to find that those she should not concur with had some reason on this side. End of chapter 10